And are there any skills that separate out the great AI founders? I know AI right now is 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 like it, it, it's it's a sea that's rising all boats. But uh, if you separate out the great ones from the good ones, are there any salient skills? that you notice that the great AI CEOs or founders have that the good ones don't? Maybe, since you said AI, I would say is often technical depth. It okay. helps a lot. But then I want to give a different answer if you say great founders around great AI founders. But I feel okay. like AI is evolving rapidly, and we definitely have lots of entrepreneurs that you know pitch the VCs without really knowing what they're doing, and the smart VCs can sniff it out quite quickly. And it makes a huge difference. I think the technology, unfortunately, you know, is like somewhat complicated. Uh, for a lot of applications. So a team that actually knows what they're doing will execute an AI project 10 times faster you know, than a team that doesn't. And 10 times is not a made-up number. I literally see people take a year to do something. They go, boy, I know that other team would have done performed this level in, in two weeks or maybe a month. Um, so for many AI startups, application startups, infra startups, you, you kind of have to know what you're doing. So it doesn't have to be you. If you're a technical co-founder, maybe that's OK. And then the second thing I see among many of the great founders um, uh, is speed. I find that as a startup, you'd be surprised when you hang up the great founders, the sheer speed of decision making. Um, uh, and you know, I, I sometimes talk to people from big companies and they'll say, oh, we move so fast. But when I kind of sit them side by side, how long does it take you to make this decision? Then I talk to a great founder, how long does it take me to make decision? Maybe here's one story. I was chatting with the Mino CEO of Renata Nybok, former CEO of Tinder. I was on the phone with her one day, and she was making a major architecture decision. So this architecture this thing, you know, there are basically two, architect two major software architectures under consideration, and the team had laid it out, listed out some pros and cons. So they got on the team with me and some of my friends and said, these are pros and cons. And then, I, and then uh, one of my, uh, my, my, my C2 AI fund and I said, you know, we're not sure, but she has some reason we prefer architecture A. And then Renata said, OK, guys, done, decision made. Go and implement you know, architecture A. And, and after I thought, well, did Renata just make a massive engineering decision in basically 30 seconds? And, 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 and she did. And I realized after it, I don't think there was a better way to make it, because it's not as if, you know, if, if, if the company waited another week, it would have been a high quality decision. And if it was wrong, I'm sure they would fix it you know, the next week. But until you've lived through the speed of a, of, a, of a great business. Most people, I know so many people that think their organizations are fast, but when you stack them up to the real speed of a fast moving CEO, they have never actually seen speed in their life. One important caveat, do be responsible. I know that move fast and break things sometimes you know, is, is the wrong approach. So tremendous speed when you are not being callous with, with people's lives and livelihood and, and things that could cause real harm. But so long as there's an important caveat, of responsible AI, um, many of the great CEOs move faster than most people realize people can move.